everybody's really amped about the 24 hours at Daytona this year because not only are we back from the short off season, but we've got a whole bunch of new cars to look forward to in the GT Le Mans category. So we've got the Ford GT making its big debut. They've got teams in North America, as well as they'll be running in the World Endurance Championship. But this is where it's all gonna start, the first race laps here at Daytona. In addition, Ferrari's running the new 488. BMW is debuting the M6 GTLM car. You know, it might not be enough to just bring a new car to the action. When you consider the competitors in GTLM, you have the Porsche with new aerodynamics and a wicked wing setback, and they're ready to defend their championship. As well, you've got Corvette Racing back with the C7R, but let's not forget that they won here last year at the 24 Hours of Daytona and then went on to win Sebring and the 24 Hour of Le Mans. But apparently one thing that all the GT Le Mans teams agreed on was to choose Michelin. And it actually paid great dividends in qualifying, which was a very rainy session. The GT Le Mans cars on the Michelin wet tires actually reigned supreme and took pole position and the first seven positions overall in qualifying. We're really excited to see the new cars take the track and see what unfolds after 24 hours. I mean, what a race from start to finish. Well, this whole year so far has been sort of a, a whirlwind. This year with the first time in a long time that the class has changed quite a bit. But for us at Corvette, we have a car that's pretty similar to what we had last year. We have more downforce for sure, but um, obviously working a lot with Michelin to develop tires uh, to suit this new car. You know, comparing last year's tire to, to this year's tire, we definitely made a nice improvement for our, for our Corvette. Last year, of course, uh, the team won the sports car racing triple crown, won Daytona, won Sebring, won Le Mans. It's, it's a great start for our team. It's a great start for this program. You know, we fight super hard all year long to make these cars as fast as we can. And watching Oliver at the end there fight, fight our teammate for, for first and second. And to watch those two Corvettes cross our finish one, two, thankfully with our, our number four car in front, uh, but only by 34 thousandths of a second. So just an incredible day.